In this video, we will be learning about center of gravity. What is center of gravity? Well, center of gravity of an object is the point where all of its mass is considered to act. So, how do we find the center of gravity of an object? Let's first look at regular objects, and then in our next video, we'll look at irregular objects. So first of all, what is a regular object? A regular object is one that is symmetrical in shape and has an equal distribution of mass. How do we find the center of gravity of a regular object? Well, as you can see here in this picture, the center of gravity of a regular object is found by drawing diagonal lines. And they are drawn from opposite corners. Where they meet at that point, that is the center of gravity. That is done most commonly for regular 2D objects. It's a similar idea for 3D objects. Please note though, as we see here with an angelus, aka a ring, the center of gravity is not always inside of an object per se, right? As we see here with the ring, the center of gravity is in the middle, but it's not inside of the ring. Now, let's talk about equilibrium. What is equilibrium? Well, when all the forces on an object are balanced, then we say that an object is in equilibrium. Please note, equilibrium doesn't mean that an object is at rest. You can have an object that is moving and also in equilibrium. If an object is moving along in a straight line at a constant speed, then it is in equilibrium. All the forces act on it are balanced. The force pushing it forward and the force pushing it backwards are balanced. That's why it is not slowing down nor speeding up. It is moving along in a straight line at a constant speed. If an object is at rest, then it is also in equilibrium because all the forces acting on it, up, down, left, right, every which way, they cancel each other out. They are balanced. There are three kinds of equilibrium. Unstable, stable, and neutral equilibrium. What is unstable equilibrium, you may ask? Well, when an object topples over easily, then it is in a state of unstable equilibrium. When an object in unstable equilibrium topples over, we say that its center of gravity is lowered. It goes from a state of unstable equilibrium to one that is more stable. What is stable equilibrium then? Well, stable equilibrium is when an object is not toppled over easily. When an object in stable equilibrium does get toppled, its center of gravity rises. It goes from a state of stable equilibrium to unstable equilibrium. Lastly, neutral equilibrium. An object is in a state of neutral equilibrium if it cannot be toppled. Whenever an object in neutral equilibrium is disturbed, its center of gravity doesn't rise or lower. It just stays at a constant level. It is important to note that an object will not topple over so long as its center of gravity lies over its base. So with that said, there are a couple of ways that we can increase the stability of an object. The first way is by lowering the center of gravity of the object. The second way is by widening the base of the object. Objects can be made more stable by using either one or two or both of those strategies. Let's see if you can identify which one or ones are used in the following situations. First situation, the heavy luggage on a tall bus is stored near the bottom as you see here. Second situation, the design of a race car. Take a look at it and see what you can come up with. Why is it like that? Third situation, we have a tightrope walker with a stick. Look at what they do. What is at play here? Is it one or two or both? And our fourth situation is applied to combat sports. In this clip, you see a fighter trying to stuff a tape down as we say. What do you notice that he did? So, an object cannot topple over so long as its center of gravity is over its base. And it also means it cannot change equilibrium. It can move from stable to unstable equilibrium once it is over its center of base. So with that, you can hold somebody down in a chair with your knowledge of science. Let's take a look at this clip and see what I mean. You can hold a person in a chair with just one thumb. Put your thumb on someone's forehead and see if they can stand up. I can't do it. I can't get up. Your center of gravity here in your belly needs to be supported or you will fall down. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's supported by the chair. In order to stand up, you have to be able to lean far enough forward to get your center of gravity over your feet. 
How did you hold me in the chair? Look how short you are. Center of gravity. So now that you have watched that clip, maybe you want to try it on your parents or your brothers and sisters. Now let's take a look at these clips that show more examples of how you can increase the stability of an object. Suppose you were on a thin rail, 10 meters above dangerous waters, but you were on a special bicycle that has a 100 kilogram weight about three meters below you. Well, then your center of gravity is way down there, and it's almost impossible to make the bicycle tip over. But take six of me up here. It is scary. Ooh. Hey. Let me just get a towel. What's the matter, Sue? Feeling a little off today. I don't know what the problem is. I'm feeling a bit wobbly. And have I got something for you. It's called balance. Simply place the drinks around the tray's center of gravity. Works every time. Thanks for the tip, Meg. I'm feeling much better now. For those days when unequal forces prove to be too much, try balance. Your center of gravity will thank you. When you're standing up straight, your center of gravity is right over your feet. But when you pick up something heavy, it's got a center of gravity too. And its weight is trying to make you twist, trying to throw you off balance. That's why you have to lean back to keep the center of gravity of the thing you're carrying, plus you, over your feet. You see, a lot of people carry heavy things on their heads. That way, the center of gravity of the thing you're carrying and your own center of gravity are in a straight line. And it's easy to keep your balance. Whoa! Here's another fun little activity you can try with your parents, especially with your dad. He's probably tall and has a high center of gravity. Now, Bill, take three steps back from the wall. One, two, three. Put your head against the wall and pick up the chair. Pick up the chair. Now try and stand up. Stand up. I can't quite do it. But I can because I'm a girl. Our lower center of gravity only has to move a little bit to be supported. One, two, three. Okay. Piece of cake. And here's a TikTok that I made that also demonstrates the concept of center of gravity.